Um, hey. Yeah. Okay. Rant time. Uh, this is something that's been bugging me. Uh, for about a week now, really. Oh, I, I don't even really know how to fully express this. I'm gonna try to the best of my ability. But this is something that's been bothering me for a while. And it's something that I've noticed happen in a lot of fandoms, and a lot of communities, and a lot of, uh, whatever. Is that there are all these people running around who are self-appointed, and in some cases declared, gurus on any sort of fandom. This happens a lot, especially in the Dragon Ball fandom. And here's what happens. Basically, someone will meet someone else who has an above-average knowledge of the series, and they will be very interested to know what this person knows, especially if it's like behind-the-scenes stuff that people haven't talked about much. And... Well, long story short, you know, they, they start to, you know, put this person on a pedestal. They get to where, you know, they, they, you know, start to think that this person knows everything, so to speak. And, um, because they think this person knows everything, it goes on and on. It, it you know, I, I, you, you can see where this is going. Um, the problem here is that I found this more often than not to be an utter falsehood. And here's why. Um... I've talked to some people who have been considered to be gurus on the topic, and uh, surprise, surprise, there are things they don't know. But what happens is when I argue, when I argue with them, um, and a lot of times their fanboys come back at me like I'm somehow the know-nothing because this person clearly knows what they're talking about because they're the guru. And, oh lord, dogs. So, um, <laughs> sorry about that. What basically then happens is, um, well, you know, they uh, anyone who can uh, poke a hole in your theory, suddenly they're hating on this person. They're, you know, it becomes such a rabid following that even if they're outright proven wrong, and there are cases where they've been outright proven wrong, it's not a matter of, I think you're wrong because of this. I mean, there's actual evidence for they're 100% wrong, beyond a shadow of a doubt. Um, and they'll still take their word over, you know, the facts. Now, this is going to get into Fanon, and Fanon, that's something that I want to talk about later. But, uh, in fact, you know what, I might blend it into this. I, I just might. We'll see where this goes, because I'm just winging this. Um, it, it It's so upsetting to me that people actually do this, though. It, it is. It, it, I... Because this, it's a term I reject. People have tried to call me it. I won't, I won't accept that term. I'm begging people, please do not call me that, okay? Um, don't call me a guru. I'm not even going to venture to call myself an expert, per se. Um, I'm going to say that I, yeah, know a lot, probably a lot above average. But nobody knows everything that there is to know about something. That You know, that's just a fact. Especially when it comes to some of the behind-the-scenes stuff, because I've seen so many things claimed from so many different interviews that supposedly happen, which then later turn out to be false. Even today... Even today, in our in our modern stuff, you know, it happens. There have been interviews where people have supposedly said something, and then later on you find out that it's utterly, totally untrue. Because, you know, something else has happened. Now, either the person who said it is lying, or the person who produced the quote-unquote interview made it up. But it happened several times. Um, it's happened with interviews with James Marsters, where he had supposedly said that he could say for a fact the sequel was greenlit and it was happening and blah 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 with Dragon Ball Evolution. And then later on in an audio interview, an actual audio interview with solid audio evidence, he came out and said that he had heard absolutely nothing about the next movie, if it was even happening, from anyone. The only thing he knew was that his contract had yet to be uh, dissolved or transferred or anything else. So he says he knew nothing. This very... The very starkly contrasted with the interview wherein he had supposedly just said he had just learned from 20th Century Fox that he could officially say there was going to be a sequel now. Um, complete with the uh, annotated grin from the interviewer. Um, you know, it, 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 it happens. Um, so I'm very leery about stuff behind the scenes. Uh, but... <sighs> 
you know, and there's there is some solid stuff out there too. But yeah, and I'm not saying that everything that you hear behind the scenes, it you know, is 100% false. But don't take it as gospel truth just because you read it from somewhere either. I've seen, you know, this happen many times. Uh, what also upsets me though so much is when, oh, I swear to God, these people who claim to be the gurus. They've learned so much about some of the smallest details. I met a guy who could tell me the exact number of tiles on the floor of the Cell Games Arena. Could tell me the exact number of spikes in Goku's hair. Could tell me the exact number of spikes coming out of the back of Frieza when he was in his third form. Could tell me the exact number of this or that or that or this. You know these obscenely small little details, which I'm not going to lie, is an impressive thing to learn. But when it came to the characters themselves, when it came to their motivations, when it came to the point of things that they said or did or things that happened to them, they knew almost nothing. It was sad. They could tell me everything, what original ta attack names were, uh, remember the name of um, the Namekian who had... Um, basically fathered um, who Piccolo and Kami had been when they were united, you know, all this stuff. Um, but he, you know, even the flavors of soda everyone got out of Trunks' fridge when they were waiting for Goku to come back. But, wow. Um, you know, this, it, it was just, frankly, ridiculous how he knew so little about the characters. Uh, he knew so little about their motivations. He knew so little. You know, it, it was sad. It's like missing the forest for the trees there. You're, you're missing the big picture. You're missing what makes the series great for the sake of seeing all these tiny little details. Um, what's also hilarious is that, the, I mean, for crying out loud, this guy, this guy claiming to be a guru... Um, knew all this stuff, and yet, even knowing the most minute details of this, somehow managed to think that Dragon Ball Evolution was a 100% um, decent, uh, honorable, accurate, justified adaptation. Um, seriously, didn't think they took any sort of excessive liberty. It was really sad. Um, 